All right, let's go ahead and start with the green screen or chroma key and Sony Vegas. I'm running a Sony Vegas Pro 8 and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to show you guys uh, to make life a lot easier on you because um, when I first started doing this I had really no clue what I was doing. Um, one thing that, that, that makes things easy is to go ahead and if you notice first of all the pro the project that I have open now we've got a lot of clips we've got a lot of things going on in here um, we've got uh, some audio back down in this area here we've got all kinds of things going on um, so this is what we're going to do we're going to pick this clip here and it is number six zero uh, I'm sorry 6201 this is 6201 this is 6201 this one's 6201 this one over here is 6201 so what we want to do is go down to project media and you want to find clip 6201 and when you find clip 6201 um, I'm not going to let's see if I can find it real quick we don't want to burn too much time looking for videos 62 there's 6201 right there now if you pick 6201 from your project media down at the bottom or however you have your screen arranged I like mine this way go ahead and pick your media FX from that portion and do all your corrections or all your effects from there when you do that when you split up your film notice I've got uh, my video uh, split up there's a clip 6201 and then between this 6201 I'm sorry um, this is 6101 and this 6101 there's a clip so I had to split that so that will keep the effect throughout how many times you split it alright let's go ahead and Let's let's go ahead and find a clip. Here we go. We'll use we'll use 67. I'm mean, sorry, 5701. So I'm gonna just uh, come down here, 50 5701. And if I was gonna do this for real, I would click 5701 right here and then do everything from this point. However, for instructional purposes, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the event FX from the clip itself. Now this has already been set up. I'm not gonna use color curves, chroma, and all that. I'm gonna show you. A little bit different way. I'm gonna go ahead and take all those things out. This track underneath it. I'm gonna go ahead and mute that track. It makes life easier. You'll turn that on and off when you're doing this. Okay, let's go back to our clip. Number clip five seven zero one. Go ahead and open up your event FX. The first thing you're going to add is your color corrector. Go ahead and add your color corrector. Next thing is your chroma key and unsharpen mask. You can use the color curves and you can also use the Sony levels which I may use Sony levels go ahead and say okay now I put them in that way on purpose this program is going to read these things with with priority this is priority this is the highest priority this is the lowest priority so keep that color corrector first I'm gonna open this up a little bit so you can see it and go ahead from your drop down box box on your color corrector secondary Go ahead and go to saturate greens. You're going to notice that your box changed. Go to Chrome. I mean, not your box. Your preview window. How how the greens change in there dramatically. Chroma key. Go ahead and your chroma key. Drop down box. Say pure green screen. From here, I just go directly to my unsharpened mask and just put a little bit of unsharpen on there. Now, if you notice down here in this area, I've got this this lock on. This means that my cursor in my timeline will be exactly in the same spot as my video FX window so these keyframes will automatically key there that's fine for right now if you don't like it like that you take it off you can drag it all over the place you can drag your cursor up here it's gonna be different from down here that's all that means now I'm gonna go to my chroma key and let's put a little bit of chroma action on there do the show mask only and you can see the dark in the top of my head and on the side. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. So unclick the show, uh, show mask only. Go back to your color corrector. Hit show mask only. And this right here says limit saturation. Drag your limit saturation up. And if you notice, let's go back down over here on top of my head. If you notice, this is going to, if you if I raise my low my low saturation, it's going to eliminate that. And if, you, if it's real sensitive, if you have a real sensitive uh, mouse, you can just use your arrow keys and you can use your arrow keys to adjust those so that probably will be about good right there invert my mask 
Okay, that looks good. Go back to my chroma key here, hit it, and I don't really like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute the track number four with my background. Now I can see my background behind it, and I know what it's supposed to look like. And I'm not liking exactly the way it looks. So I'm going to do a little bit more on the low threshold to clean it up just a little bit. Just a little bit of adjustment, it's all it takes. Let me go high on you. If you go too high, see what it starts to look like? Go down just a little bit. And that sh probably should be sufficient right there. That looks like it will work. Now keep in mind, this video was shot with the, PM, the Sony PMW EX1. Uh, uh, high definition, uh, 1920 by 1080. So we get a really good effect uh, from this. Now let's see if we can, I'm going to have to turn this down, let's do auto, and I know it looks messed up because I put the preview on auto. Let's see what it'll do on here, clean it up just a little bit. If you know what the enemy thinks, and the enemy techniques. And so there's your, your basic chroma key tutorial. I hope that helps you guys out. It should work very well.